2020 Donald Trump is much different than 2016 Donald Trump because in 2016 Donald Trump was an actual outsider. So when he claimed that he was anti-establishment, he actually had a little bit of credibility. But now that he's in power and now that he's in that DC bubble that he once criticized, he's a different person. He doesn't know what to say to appeal to the voters he won over in 2016. And as a result, he keeps shooting himself in the foot. And it's astonishing to me that there aren't more people around him who at least try to rein him in, at least for purposes of self-preservation. Because we just passed a gigantic milestone, a really disturbing milestone when it comes to COVID-19. 200,000 deaths in America. Now, I am a little bit worried, honestly, that as that number grows, people will become more and more insensitized, desensitized, I should say. Um, because, you know, there's a difference. When, when you see that one person died and there's a face to it, you know, that really does have a different sort of impact on us at an individual level. But when we just see, like, these giant numbers, like 30,000, 100,000, 200,000, that is a little bit more difficult to grasp. So I worry that people will become more desensitized as the number grows. But regardless, it's still a really disturbing milestone. And uh, Donald Trump did the dumbest thing imaginable to draw attention to the fact that we just passed this milestone by downplaying COVID-19 at a rally by saying the dumbest thing ever as we reach this milestone. Take a look. With the disease, we didn't know it. Now we know it. It affects elderly people, elderly people with heart problems and other problems. If they have other problems, that's what it really affects. That's it. You know, in some states, thousands of people, nobody young, below the age of 18, like nobody. They have a strong immune system. Who knows? You look at you. Take your hat off to the young because they have a hell of an immune system. But it affects Virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. By the way, open your schools. Everybody open your schools. It affects virtually nobody. By the way, open your schools. He says this as we pass 200,000 deaths. If you said this when we were at like 185, there would be less attention drawn to it. Still a lot of scrutiny, but nonetheless not as bad as you say this as we cross this milestone. He just keeps shooting himself in the foot. And you can argue that he said a lot of idiotic things back in 2016 that should have theoretically ended his campaign when he said that Obama and Hillary Clinton founded ISIS. I thought that was stupid. When we got the grab him by the pussy tape, I thought that was pretty devastating. You know, uh, after you have woman after woman after woman accuse him of sexual assault or misconduct, you know, you think that at some point it'd have an effect. But, you know, um, still... After all of those things that he said in 2016 that were bad, he still said enough things that made it seem as if he could still be an agent of change, even if he would bring chaos with said change, that, you know, people decided to overlook all of those weird things about Donald Trump. But now, four years later, when we have this economic depression brought on by a global pandemic that none of us have, have ever had to deal with, I mean, things are different now. Now, when you shoot yourself in the foot, I think it actually will hurt you more. Does that mean that he's going to lose? Not necessarily. I still think that, you know, currently, as it stands now, according to public opinion polls, Biden is the favorite to win. Um, but, you know, Trump's not out of it, but he keeps doing things to isolate voters, uh, to piss people off. He just can't help himself. He just can't help himself. And what worked back in 2016, like just being a loudmouth idiot, that might not work in 2020. Now, as I'm watching this, like I, I can't help but think, who wants to watch this and listen to this old man just babble on for hours at a time? Like he's not saying anything. He's not talking about anything meaningful. He's not addressing anything. Like why would you go to a political rally if there's almost never any policy discussed? Like he just talks about who's mean to him. Like it's not even entertaining. Like I'm tired of the shtick. I'm tired of the, oh, Trump said this. It's kind of funny. I I'm just over it. How do you go to this and enjoy yourself? Like, if you go to a stand-up comedy show, you laugh. You expect that. If you go to a concert, you expect to be entertained by music. But when you go to this, what do you get? You don't get policy. You don't get substance. So what's the point? Like, I, I don't understand how people can tolerate this and put up with Donald Trump. But regardless, he keeps having these rallies where he says, 
idiotic things. And I, you know, I think maybe it's wishful thinking, but I think it's going to hurt him more than it did in 2016. But, you know, we'll wait and see because who knows, you know, there's a chance he says whatever and gets away with it because the news cycle moves on pretty quickly. I mean, just the week before last, he had this huge scandal that should have ended his presidency, not just his campaign, but his presidency, where the Bob Woodward tapes confirmed he knew about the severity of COVID-19, but downplayed it anyway. Like, nobody's even talking about that. So maybe it's the case that even if he's shooting himself in the foot, it doesn't matter because, you know, he could absorb these blows. It, it doesn't matter. But I don't know. I think that at a time when people want a leader to get us out of this mess, out of this pandemic, you can't be saying shit like this. 200,000 Americans are dead and you're saying it affects virtually nobody. I mean, you can lie so much and, you know, people expect you to lie because you are a compulsive liar. But when you start lying and you expect all of us to buy into what is obviously delusions of grandeur, I, I think that that is different. Or I hope it's different. It should be different. Like, America has embraced stupidity and anti-intellectualism with Donald Trump's presidency. So, you know, maybe it's the case that we've been programmed and conditioned to just accept stupidity from Donald Trump. And when he says something stupid, you know, the average American just scoffs or laughs at it because it's Trump. He's going to be Trump. But, you know, when I see this and he says that COVID-19 affects virtually nobody, by the way, open your schools as we lost 200,000 Americans. I can't help but think this has got to hurt him. He's shooting himself in the foot. I mean, again, having a big mouth is uh, really great if you are trying to appeal to people and convince them that you're an outsider. You're not a traditional politician. But nowadays, I just, I can't see how this is going to help him where it's necessary. Like his diehards, the cultists, they're going to love this. But like the people who flipped from Obama to him in 2016, I can't imagine this is going to resonate with them. I think this is going to turn them off, if anything. But again, who knows? Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.